Hello everyone, before I start this video I wanted to quickly ask you that, uh, or tell you that I've made a Patreon page. Patreon is basically a site where you, if you want to, can support me with say a dollar a month or however much money you choose uh, to get a few rewards. I've set up a basic system right now and just help me support, uh, basically help support the channel and allowing me to make more videos and, you know, better videos and whatnot. So. If you have some spare money lying around and you would like to uh, support my channel, then please go check out uh, check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description below and also on my channel and hopefully uh, as, as an annotation. So thank you and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, I'm this weird gamer and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 Episode 5. Last time we uh, made this tiger enclosure here. Uh, and I just realized, yes, that bamboo does look a bit horrible. Somebody in the comment was saying that shouldn't put too much all in one place, I think. Um, and yeah, I think I think you've got a point there. Um, so we'll keep that in mind. The tigers are in there somewhere. We can jump to see them. There we go. They're just going through the bushes here. So, yeah. So this time, uh, I think we're going to move on and uh, build some turtles. Because that has been requested by quite a few people, I think. Quite a lot of comments wanting turtles and uh, people liking those comments and things. So yeah, Meerkat 4 is really thirsty. That's not very good for us, is it? But you could just go over here and have a drink, right? Also, you seem to get no exercise. So how do we fix that? Do we add some live food lizards and so maybe some more toys? Maybe that'll help. Let's see. Okay, there was also a notification about uh, build playground searches, fountains, and kiosks to amuse guests. So I think we're gonna have a look into that first before we move in onto the turtles. Don't worry, they will they will be done today. But first, we gotta we gotta make sure our guests are, are happy, right? Because that's that's also important. Not just the animals, but also the guests should be happy. So, um, so they want different kind of kiosks and playgrounds and things like that. So. Let's see, what can we do? So it's like a face painting kiosk for example. This is the kind of stuff they mean, I think. So what should we put in places? A touch pool. Click the side and place a touch pool. Shallow pool where guests can interact with small aquatic animals. Yeah, we can put one of these here. That should be fine. There we go. What else can we put? Um a dig pit, maybe not that right now. But some like, um, where are they? The, where are they? Don't know, like little ride thingies. Are they are they in here? Maybe. I think they might be in here. So let me have a quick look. There we go. That's the kind of stuff we want. So we'll take a lion ride and put that on on this side, and a hippo bouncy ride on this side. And, yeah, that should do it. Alright, so now that we've added this stuff, hopefully the kids will be a bit happier. I mean, it's not much right now, but it'll do, I think, for now. Can I add this, okay? And this, there we go. So now we've got that sorted. A nice path. Oh, it's... Uh, no, the off-centeredness is, is, is getting... Is, is, is annoying me. The off-centeredness... Uh, why game? What's wrong? So then... It, it, mm, so it should like... Go like this, I think. If I then add this here... No, that's just... Damn. There we go. That's it. I think this bit should be wider here, so let's just add an extra path there. Path. Path. Yes. I can words. And let's see, is there anything else we should add here? I mean, we'll add more of these l little, like, play areas and stuff, but we don't need too many. A face painting kiosk might be cool for the children. We put one of them here. Uh, there may be a shark photo. No, no. A gift card. Let's put a gift card here. There we go. Um, I was also gonna download some more um, some more mods, but I have not done that yet. If you're really thirsty, then please go drink. Yeah, there's water right there. It's not it's not not difficult. The keeper can't reach the big cat poop. I'm sure you can. It's right there out there in the open. Otherwise, I might clean it up in a bit. 
so now that we've done this this weird bit here we're gonna look at the, the tor tortoises or turtles so our options for that we can have uh, doot doot doot. Where are they? so we've got the Galapagos giant tortoise we've got the African spur tortoise the leatherback sea turtle and the green sea turtle and I think what people wanted the most is the African spur tortoise but we can have like a a couple of exhibits next to each other with different tortoises you know different kinds of cool stuff that might be nice why are all the animals super thirsty and not drinking I don't get it so what we're gonna do I think we're gonna use this area here and let's make sure that we don't forget to add a path here because we want the zoo to continue on so I'm just gonna have the path go right along the defense here I think this wide um, and it can touch up around here like that this can also go up to there and there we go so not quite sure why why I have this little alcove thing there but hey whatever that can be uh, filled with some decorations and stuff I think so yeah so what we want to do is an African spur tortoise first so they're quite small, so we don't need a massive enclosure for them. But, well, I th maybe we should just have like a, a tortoise house, basically. A building where they're in. So we could do that. We could easily do that. We just use all these big walls that we have. Can I move you? Yes, I can. Can't make it bigger though, can I? No. Okay, we'll just deal with that. So I think we're going to use this wall here. Have a... We're going to have to put something on this wall, I think. But I think this building this building is nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep a distance from the from the path to the building. Just c we can put some flower beds and stuff in there. And if we have a building say this size for now, we can always expand it. So we're going to just sort of go here and then have make it look like it's under construction for now by just adding some other fence to block people off um... which, can, which fence can we use there? Let's just add chain link there we go to not let people pass and then obviously we want, we want an entrance so we're gonna have to get rid of say this bit no, no, what we're gonna do instead we're gonna go here, copy this go there let's build the path first so the indoor path is going to be this how do I want to do this though if I, I could put the entrance here but then I might have to move some of the toys but I think that might be the best uh, best best plan because then what I can do is I can have one path that sort of leads this way so there can be um, I think we're going to make it slightly bigger You'll see what I'm what I'm trying to get at. If you don't yet, yeah, you'll see it soon. So if I do this and make it about this size, that seems like a reasonable enclosure for these. Um, and we can put other reptiles and animals and whatnot into this building. I think. Actually, if I find something even smaller for this bit, this can be the bit for the African spread tortoise, and then we can have something else here. And then. Hmm. We can have an exit here, and actually, what I'm going to do, because that's the whole uh, bit that we're, we're probably going to add more, is have the path go along here. So you know, it's still in the building, and you still see some stuff. So we want to get rid of this this door here, and this bit here. Now, sadly, the width of the path doesn't really match the thing, but we can just do this. Add a bit more width to it here, like that. Yep. Sorry about the sirens if you hear those. Um, yeah, I live in a city. That happens. Okay. So we don't. Do we have any of like things to make this entrance, this, this entrance door, not quite so high though? Because that is always something that bugs me in this game. See, they 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 do exist, but they seem to be invisible. 
Um, so I might need to fix the mod to uh, re-download the mod maybe and hopefully fix it with that. Not quite sure why that is. So for now this is gonna stay the way it is I guess because we cannot do much about it. We can have big big things on the floor or we could have these things. Um, I can't lift them up anyway. See this is where a planet coaster would be great. <laughs> I could have them See, these are not quite high enough, I think. Uh, actually, can guess go under there? You, I need to, no, I need to test them on the top. Because we can't have this. Yeah, that's more than fine. So you're over here now, sorry about that. Uh, and then we can add a roof in a bit. But for now, let's let's add the actual animal. So the African spurred tortoise can be in this part. Um... Unless we want to add these, then these should be here, and these should be here. Is this big enough? I mean, we're, we're only going to have like one or two, right? So, I think this should be alright. So, we're going to turn this into hot desert here. Because apparently that's where it likes to live. And then what we're going to do is have a... Maybe it should be the same material, though. Actually, no, on the inside, we might go for, for the soft white. Like that. You know, because if you think about it, these these guys live in the desert, so we need to keep their enclosure climatized, right? So they they can have a reptile pool. Can we put it here? Is that gonna bother the game? I hope it's not. Let's just put it here. It's doing something to the terrain, and I don't like. It. But we can deal with it for now. So we're gonna have that. We're gonna add a little tar pit over here. And some a heat lamp in the middle here. Some sort of rock in the background. There we go. And whatever this decoration is supposed to be. There we go. And then some you know different cacti spread about a little bit. Let's have the this plant too over here. And some aloe vera. And this in the back here. There. Let's add one more there. Now we could add a, a tree, but you know, too big for for this for this area. So I think we're just gonna keep it the way it is. And I hope I hope this looks alright. Let's add a log where they can eat from as well. It's right, right. It's over here by the rock. By Dwayne the Rock. Yes, yes. Hilarious. I know. <laughs> not really. Um, so yeah, there's not much to see for guests uh, that walk along here. Uh, but that's okay, I think. I mean, we could add, like... We could add a little window here, maybe? So if we went, like... This. People can have a look in. That might be kind of cool. And I was like, ooh, what's in here? And they see, oh, it's it's the tortoises. And then they try to find the way in and we'll have a door over here, I guess. To to let people in. So this should be good. Um shall we have two or just one? I think two. No, no, just one. Because this is not enough space. So sorry, we've given that one up for adoption and it's just gonna be very lonely, isn't it? That's sad, but I think I think this is alright, to be honest. Um I like the enclosure size and I think we'll just have to deal with it being lonely. Often often you get animal single animals, right? So there is that. Oh yes, we need a new keeper. You need to work here. Make out four needs more space, we gotta deal with that. Okay, this 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 keeper is just being silly now. They don't know how to leave because there's no way to leave yet. Um, so maybe this should just be the keeper's door. But I do like the window there, so I don't know. So we we'll just have that over here, there. So what the meerkats are out of space, are they? So I guess we need to have some some of them adopted, sadly. So we're gonna adopt Meerkat 2. And 
Let's go for Meerkat 1 as well. So Meerkat 1 and 2 have been adopted, so hopefully now they have enough space again. Hopefully that will solve the issue for now. So here we've got a... Where are you? Where's our tortoise? Ah, oh, there it is. It seems happy. Uh, so let's hope that it'll stay happy. And that'll be great. Oop. I want you. And I want to maybe change up the ground a tiny bit over here. Just, you know, put some variety into the, into the ground. There, wherever we get a little bit of stuff. There we go. So now we've got this, and we can add a roof to on the top of this. So where's the roof? Roofs. Um, let's just go for a brick roof, I guess. And we'll have a flat roof, because they are probably easier to deal with than anything else. There we go. Now we'll add a a roof over the entire building once we've actually added the other stuff as well. So we're gonna just keep it the way it is now. It's got its own roof. And maybe have a, a bit of a glass roof as well for you know the tortoise to to uh, be able to see some 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 sky, some some sunlight. So I'm just gonna add that over here and over here. There we go, that should be fine. Oh, there's a problem here with the... With the roofing? Nope. I can just get rid of this part, this part, this part, and this part. There we go. So now this, this entire thing is going to be a building at some point, but for now, this is a sort of its own building here. And, yeah, there's the tortoise. I think that looks good. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. So we can deal with that. Ooh, look at the sunset. It's kind of pretty. It's setting quite fast, though. That's that's more scary than pretty. So is this entrance like okay? It looks it looks very very bland on the outside. So we're gonna we're gonna have to fix that with some trees and stuff and things. Maybe let's just add some flower beds for now. Are they in here? Pretty sure there were some anyway. No. Not in here. Not in here. Are they in the plant section? No, they wouldn't be. Oh yes, they are. So we can have this bit. No, I don't like that. Let's, let's get rid of that. I prefer to just have trees and plants. And I kind of like these birch trees, so I think I'm just going to use them for general decoration stuff. They're nice, uh, nice and green. I guess we could, um, we could really mix it up a little bit, but I do just like having a row of the same tree. I don't know why. Uh, I just really like that. Now we can have some random plants spread about. What is the African spur tortoise unable to reach the food dish? I believe in you, tortoise. Okay, we, you know, we want, we want some variety in this. So this might be a little bit of just placing random stuff about and see how it looks. No, this doesn't look nice. How about this? It's meant to be a water plant, I think, hence why it's so splashy when you put something down. But hey, whatever. What's this? It's just an invisible plant. Yeah, that, that looks alright. How does that look for now? Yeah, that looks better for this side. So, there's, you know, some trees and stuff here that you can see. Still a very, very red wall. Um... Can we add another window on this side, maybe? Just go to the walls here. Yeah. What can, what can people see from out here? Yeah, that might be good. So we have another window out here, just just, just to add a little bit of variety. So we're just going to get rid of that, add another piece of path again. 
and there we go. People can go up to here and po probably look at the tortoise if it shows itself. Well, it seems to be uh, gone right now, so let me go inspect that. And while that, I think we're out of time for this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, then do leave a dislike or tell me why you didn't. Where is that one? Oh, it's hiding. There it is. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you want to see more of this. Check out Planet Coaster if, if uh, you want to see more videos similar to this, but on a different game. And yeah, if you'd like to support me, then you could go to my Patreon page, which will be in the description. There we go, cleaning some poop. And with that, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.